Politics are usually a made challenge for multilateral climate negotiations, but this time in Glasgow, politics may actually be less of a problem. We are living at a time of optimism, when economic growth can help to persuade societies to make sacrifices in order to advance climate agenda. For politicians, it is now hard to win elections unless they demonstrate strong commitments to climate change. However, politics are still very messy. Many governments are mindful about polarized societies back home and want to be seen as defending their national interests in the first place rather than compromising. And therefore, compromise is likely to come very late in the day, if at all, in Glasgow number of governments are facing elections after COP summit and therefore may not be able to deliver on their commitments. Governments also need to ensure that they're able to implement their commitments that are more socially challenging and imply higher social costs. Facing out coal, reducing fossil fuel subsidies, these are policies that require substantial economic dislocation and this dislocation may be challenging at a time of the global gas crisis or at a time when the global recovery from the pandemic is slowing down.